Hi, today a little podcast. Extremism and hip hop. First question in the room: What's real? Surrealism leads to real effects, but is it just extremistical terror per definition? What got hip hop to do with terror? If you take it to the real stages, hip hop always wanted to protect lives. You can see it out of the historical briefs about rap battles. These might be in all different stories. But one clear message: instead of shooting each other down, take them up on stage and be respectful with each other. Extremistical terror, aka the real effects, were always totally out of respect. Especially is it a massive disrespect against nature direct. You might think you stay above the law or above nature, but what's real? Ask yourself this question again: if you stay above someone or something, is this just another master trying to enslave? Slavery is by the, its masters whack. It was always these ways, you know. Their credit, their credit cards, the plastic, aka whack car hoods, and shit. They don't know what's real anymore, especially in the real world. In the real world, world. I'm sorry. This doesn't mean that each boss would be whack. Just several of them. Bosses I acknowledge, which are fighting for the freedom by their workers, with their workers together, side by side. Other bosses are still to fight against for freedom. Freestyle rap should have been telling you this. If you really research the media deeply, do you find the entire wisdom you need to acknowledge that terrorism, especially extremistical, is the opposition of what hip hop is and was about? I'm not trying to sound like an army man in this case, or like the open media, but it should be acknowledgeable for anyone, even children. The truth doesn't hide. The sprayers are still spraying crack as whack. You know, it's not just about the drug. It's not just about cyber terrorism or law cracks. It's even more a statement around respect and what real respect appears out of. Unity for the community wasn't even hurt by the wannabe masters of this industry around hip hop. They just tested enslaving others to get their money. Even that is crack, especially sometimes cracking real respect. Real respect by the streets. Think about it. What do you get that for? Especially real respect. What Genius Hardcore does as a private person is testing to socialize the worst wax of them all. He deals with enemies just to help step by step to reinitiate a relatively peaceful world. If Genius Hardcore kills or does murder funk, then just because anybody else was already running crazy against himself and forcing himself to kill instead of therapizing, like Genius Hardcore does normally. Genius Hardcore's therapy is simply to test the worst anti-socialists. With which really give nothing to their community, what love belongs to, excepting math, so that they might get the clue that math ain't love. Unity for the community is sometimes a need to be tested for bad cases. What luck belongs to on the job market is Genius Hardcore's job sometimes. Genius Hardcore is on German ground, where anyone should have been helping to let himself get a job and a love life. Since now was the entire opposition detected around Genius Hardcore as a private person. Since day one. The open mind not to fight him. Several anti-socialists tried to rip himself into pieces and distract any success he might get. It's not even really clear why. Besides heard him say reports, was it about a bad textile genius hardcore told anyone? It's just the real textile. About the one which got used back in the days when hip hop got tagged on the creator of of the first scratch in his house. This textile was it about besides some assholes. The terrorists which try to murder find me, and this still matters to us all. The person of invention, cool DJ Herc by name. Even if Genius Hardcore matters to a lot of people already, as the person of inventions in hip hop, and as attached, it might split themselves the area, the age, the era of hip hop, and the skin color, but both still try to get the party started. What extremism belongs to, since now a way, how some were trying to find solutions for their troubles. Do you still remember what it was about in the beginning of this cast? Genius Hardcore still uses real devices, real microphones, and real other real stuff to get his music and stuff done. There's normally no magic, excepting if you take it to the deeper stages, the so-called synth basses, where you can find him as the original sound producer around his own sounds. Genius Hardcore composes as a way of new school artist. He really is. But that's another story lane and a way of personal interest, which got nothing to do with thinking deeper. But if you thi always think alone, direction the wannabes, how could you ever be real then? Especially really respected. 
Genius Hardcore is sometimes alone for sure a lot of times nowadays, but he's normally there for his friends if they ask him. Based upon extra mystical terrorism is Genius Hardcore many times enforced to be alone because he needs to protect his people against extra mystical terrorism by the German right extremistical anti socialistical Nazis which should not even know his friend circle for protection reasons against human law crimes against his friends and even to help them against murder funk sometimes. No one really understands why these wackest of them all wordly try to kill noticing the entire briefs out of real rap music, real media reports about hip hop and real people having to do with hip hop. The person named Genius Hardcore aka Gerd Sebastian Juda aka myself. Genius Hardcore might be the person which his self screens to be, a stranger but a professor in it, without holding the title in his hands, especially if you understand content on GeniusHardcore.de in German language based upon Hurtem Say reports, was even a real physics professor attaching some info but the most information stream of a reading in a real university about physics and music was based upon a report of GeniusHardcore.de only that the mathers might notify what's even so delivering real worth about humans. Even if Genius Hardcore got no money for it, he was a friendly helper to get the point in understanding that even music is physics and made some more studs noisy around hip hop. Just re listen or re read this stuff or simply review it again. What the beginning belongs to on GeniusHardcore.com or .de, I make it available on both sides and try to send the original text briefing into several other pages. If you don't understand the text brief, just hit the translation button. I'm trying to attach one on GeniusHardcore.de, even if it's not in function on GeniusHardcore.com. But if you don't understand the message, please start again in the beginning to memorize what you get as real information. Especially out of this stuff. Peace, Gerd Sebastian Guder, aka Genius Hardcore, is still somehow living buddy with real smartphone cameras, with real smartphone keyboards and real stable internet connection. And this is what I still try to hold, even if the worst Nazis try to distract this entire stuff against my own. I might be an in poverty living person, but I still re-deliver a worth into mankind. If you don't want to have it, others still want to have it. Simply think about it. Yours is never really alone. No one is never really alone. As minimum, the elements will try to help you. Eventually, what the point is. Peace.